What is up guys, welcome back to FC365 iDevice Central channel. Today we're discussing about jailbreak on iOS 9.3.1 and moreover about semi jailbreak tools that are roaming around the internet lately. So what's about those things, about semi jailbreak tools that aim to be able to jailbreak your device without even touching the computer? Uh, well. We're speaking, of course, about Taiji 9 Beta with, with the address Taiji9.com and semi-jailbreak.com version 1.2.0. Both great websites with a great looking style and with a great theme. This one really looks like Taiji, but it has here the writings in um, actually English, not Chinese. So uh, this is the first sign something is not better. Okay, when you click on this thing, something starts telling you device unsupported. You should visit using iPhone, iPad or iPod. But what is really up on this? There are a lot of semi jailbreak tools and therefore you should know if you need to trust them or not. And um, of course, there are a lot of things involved in the process of jailbreaking. And how comes on iOS 9.3, those guys making this website are claiming that it's still possible to jailbreak only accessing only with accessing a website. Well, I don't say it's not possible, but I say it's not possible in this manner. As you can see, it says how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.1, the simplicity behind semi jailbreak. Well, let me explain you. If you are new on this thing, semi jailbreak might fool you very, very, very big around because it looks very good and it promises a lot of things. Okay, semi jailbreak actually installs a certificate into your device and then actually downloads two different applications, probably outside the app store. I don't know, I didn't test yet. That of course will show ads when you open them and um, will tell you that you have to pay if you want to install Cydia. So if you have to pay in order to install Cydia, why it's then called a jailbreak? Jailbreak is something created around the idea of freedom, around the idea of free tweaks, free applications, and about freedom behind the, the, um, the wall created by Apple behind their um, operating system. Why those guys charge for Cydia? Does Soric do that? Let me explain you who is Soric, probably you don't know. Soric is the one who created the Cydia application itself. So everything you see when you tap the Cydia icon and you navigate from all that things is created by a single guy, Jay Freeman, which of course has a scene name, which is Soric. Okay, so Soric created CD application for free. You can download the Deb pack, Debian pack, if you are a jailbreaker and install it into your product in order to be able to push it onto your on the phone with your jailbreak tool. Cydia was never a paid application. It's true, there are a lot of tweaks and themes that are paid in Cydia, but Cydia itself is like an app store, an app store with unofficial applications that of course would never be accepted on uh, on the regular app store created by Apple. So no, you should never pay for Cydia no matter what. And this is what those websites are doing in order to gain their existence from this. They're actually installed that certificate, show a great animation uh, like the verbose, which is a lot of text, white text on a black background, in order to make you think that they are really jailbreaking that phone. And after that, you will see something like, if you want to install Cydia, you have to pay a small fee. Of course, the small fee is two or three or five um, dollars. Not very huge, but you won't get Cydia. It won't be a huge amount of money if it would work, but it doesn't. It's of course not Cydia, it's a fake application looking like Cydia, but of course, in fact, your phone is not jailbroken if you use semi-jailbreak. It's just... It's just regular, it's stock. You will not jailbreak anything with that thing. It doesn't contain exploits, it doesn't contain sandbox exploits, it doesn't contain Debian packs, and it doesn't contain Cydia. 
it doesn't even modify the root file system. Therefore, no, it isn't a jailbreak. It's just a way that those guys are gaining money from advertisement by uh, making you to install their applications. Because when you want to install Thai G9, for example, you are um, actually prompted to install three different applications, either games or normal applications, and run them through the tutorials. If it's a game, you have to run all the tutorial, and after that you are able to, to exit in order to install the uh, so-called jailbreak. So, is it still a jailbreak? I guess it's not. As you can see, Tai G9 right here says it's beta 1 for iOS 9.3 and 9.3.1. Of course, it's it looks too good to be true, and trust me, it really is. Because if you go on pangu.io, you will see that there is no jailbreak for iOS 9.3. This is the official website of Pangu team, the only one you can trust. And if you click right here, you can only get a uh, jailbreak for iOS 9.0 to iOS 9.1. Yes, it's true, those guys are working for a jailbreak for iOS 9.3, but there is, in this moment, at this date, there is no jailbreak. Uh, why the heck my date is on uh, February? Sorry, guys. My date is actually going to February every time. April 11. Okay, so at this date, on April 2016, 11, there is no jailbreak for iOS 9.3. So semi jailbreaks are, of course, in multiple websites, comes in multiple shapes. This website is not the only one claiming to have a semi jailbreak, but no one has a full working method with semi jailbreak tools. Semi jailbreaks are, in fact, fake if you want to get it. So never fall for this, never buy such thing on eBay because I saw a lot of uh, scammers trying to sell semi jailbreak for $20 on eBay. And do not trust any website other than Pangu or Taiji's official website, which I think it was taiji.com, let me see. Yes, this is Taiji's official website, not this one, not Taiji 9, it's Taiji and this is it. And the writings are in Chinese, not in English, as you can see right here. Okay, and as you can see, Taiji's latest jailbreakable firmware was iOS 8.4 right here, not iOS 9.3.1 and not even close to iOS 9.3.2, as it says right here. So no, when it comes to semi-jailbreak, I know the Google is full of them, but do not fall for them. Thanks for watching guys, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you like the content and if you want, uh, if you want to keep yourself updated. And of course, if you like the way that I keep you updated and safe from all those scammers, press the thumb up button and I will do my best to keep you updated. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'm gonna catch you up in the next episode with... Of course, jailbreak updates. Have a great day. Peace out.